Hello everybody that's out there, my brothers and sisters and anyone who watches this video. Christmas Eve, I hope you're having a great day, blessed day. And if you do not know Jesus Christ, I hope you find him and become a believer in the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, I am the truth, the way and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. But as I continue to watch the world deteriorate, and we all do, and if anybody thinks differently, um, there's something wrong with that. If you feel that the world is progressing, there's something wrong with that. And by the signs of the times on my channel where we teach the Word of God, we are in the end times. And never have I seen such terrible acts of mass shooting in my life. And it's sad to see. But as we watch these clips here that I'm going to put on now, that's been happening, a couple of them that have been happening, mass shootings or just unthinkable acts of violence, and when the Bible says in the last days the love of many will wax cold, meaning their hearts will lose their love, people will stop loving. And as believers we know that this is written that this has to happen. But as we continue to move forward in this world that's not progressing, let's watch these things that have happened in the last few days. Tonight, several people have been shot inside a mall in Florida, and the shooter, we're told, is now on the run. This happened inside the Paddock Mall in Ocala. That's about 80 miles northwest of Orlando. Police there say gunfire broke out at about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We now know that one man was killed and a woman was shot in the leg. Several others were also hurt during the incident. shocked. I don't feel uh, really s safe as much as before in a public place, especially in public transportation. When there is a quick movement, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a bit nervous and uh, it's always stressful. Now, as you see these you know, news clips of what happened, and I say to myself, when I was a kid, I don't remember, you know, these things happening on a consistent basis. Now we have more information to through the internet. We have more outs to hear these things happening more, but you know, you never saw these things, and people are saying, "What's going on with the world? What's happening with the world?" Those who don't know the book, the truth in Jesus Christ, are lost to what's happening. And it's a shame to see what's happening, to watch what's happening in this world. How the love of people have gone astray because there is no God in their life. People say, I don't need God to have morals. And yes, you could have your own morals, you could have your own understanding as far as what's right and wrong. But when you have God, you have a certain type of love, you have a certain type of will to have those morals that he wants you to have, to have the love that he wants you to have. And like I said, it's sad to see, but we know that it is written. God has been taken out of the equation, and when God is being taken out of the equation, these things will happen more and more, and the devil will control this world more and more. But we know these things again must come to pass, unfortunately. And I'm sad for the people that lose their lives over this. I'm sad for the people that are losing their lives over the wars. But I'd be more sad if they didn't know Jesus Christ before they passed on. Because he truly is the only way to heaven. We can never understand everything that's happening. We know what is written. God gave us an instruction manual through the Bible. I pray that you read it if you haven't one day. It's not a bunch of nonsense. It's actually powerful. It's actually incredible. And I hope, pray the Holy Spirit guides you through that, through the Word of God. Like I said, unfortunately, these heinous attacks will continue to happen 
the devil is the ruler of this world. But more, more people are following the devil than following the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. The love of many has truly waxed cold. People have lost respect for each other. Now there's always been hate. There's always been a lack of respect. There's always been a lack of love. But not like it is now. I want to thank everybody for watching. Keep praying. And again, if you haven't, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I pray that you know him. And I hope this video helps you have an outlet to getting to know him, to find him. Because he truly is the only way. We're all imperfect. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But he is a forgiving God. He's a loving God. Even through all this, all the sins of the world were put on his shoulders. Again, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'm greatly appreciative of that. And thank you so much. May God bless you all.